Hey V-Dub lovers, here's the latest car to come into Vintage Classic Specialist, a 1959 low-light Carmen Ghia convertible. Uh, really a beautiful car, uh, lots of patina, which uh, actually we're probably going to be addressing in some sense here. Um, the car came in, uh, mainly the big thing on this car is, is a new top. Um, I don't know if this is the original canvas or not, but it's it's in really bad shape. Uh, I don't even think the owner's been closing it. It's it's so ratty. Uh, so, you know, it's a convertible and we're in Southern California. So 99% of the time you can just drive it around with the top down and enjoy it as it was intended. But nonetheless, he wants a new top, a new headliner. We're actually gonna have our neighbor shop Octavio's do that. Those guys are known uh, for their interiors and really good at these uh, very difficult Carmen Ghia convertible tops they've just done a couple literally within the last month or so uh, so yeah we're going to put them on that uh, we may or may not do a complete interior uh, i'll have to talk to the uh, owner about that and see if he wants to to go for that or not um, but yeah the car uh, mainly the top and then he wants to address uh, you can see there's quite a bit of uh of rust and, and pitting on the bumper we're gonna see about having those re-chromed same thing with the handles, uh, the door handles that is. Some little things, some broken knobs here and there that we're gonna address. He actually has the uh, the handles for those. I believe it's the original paint on the, the inside of the car. The outside seems to have been resprayed at some point. Uh, so one of the other things that we're gonna address on the car is apparently there was a, a small fire at some point, so you can see some paint damage here. So I think what we're probably going to do is we're going to match this paint and we're going to respray this area here. And then there's a few other areas on the car that uh, paint wise that that need a little love. Let's see if I can find them. Yeah, just some little areas here. The main one is the back one where there was a fire. Touch up these other areas and then we'll give the car a good polish and, and get the new paint areas blended with the old ones. The car is going to look like it's got a pretty new paint job on it by the time we're done with it, even though we're only touching up a few areas and, and uh, you know, a good polish goes a long way, even on some kind of aged paint like this. We're gonna go and add in the uh, the missing trim strips here, actually probably just replace them all. These are pitted and damaged pretty well. So yeah, new trim strips, touch up some paint, give the whole thing a buff, uh, new convertible top and headliner, some other odds and ends on the car just walk around here and take a look a little bit more really a pretty car I've, I've always really loved white cars and a white convertible Karma Ghia is just beautiful so you can see this car's brother sitting back here another white convertible Karma Ghia um, low top that I have featured before on here so yeah it's just kind of interesting to look at the difference in the cars the sort of uh, bright white with the black top versus more of a cream color with uh, with a tan top. Uh, two very different looking cars, but uh, both beautiful in their own way. So yeah, uh, this will probably be a pretty short project here. Uh, you know, I'm not sure what the turnaround is going to be with our Chrome guy on on redoing these bumpers and so on, and uh, we'll have to see what the turnaround is going to be with uh, Octavio to do the uh, the top. I think we're probably going to have to order the the canvas, and that may take uh, a little while to turn that around so we may have this one here in the shop for a few weeks or maybe a month uh, as we're trying to get the uh, the, the convertible top and, and stuff uh, sourced but yeah anyway I think that's about it um, oh I should mention the car has a 1600 in it right now so it's uh, it's definitely uh, a good driver uh, the owner drove it up here on the freeway um, quite a ways and yeah thing buzzes right along with a little 1600 in it so yeah there you go we'll uh, maybe post some updates as we uh, as we work on this one but for now yeah I just wanted to introduce the car again it literally just came in yesterday so there you go hope you enjoyed it uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and like this video if you liked it, it helps us out thank you